welcome to I Love Stocks. I wanted to give a little, I guess, recap of my update that I gave you the other day on medical marijuana stocks. And it seems to me like they're starting to rebound a little bit. So let's take a little look at my watch list. Right on the top of the list, I had CTST, said we need to start looking for a rebound on it. I added a new one to it, and that's OGI. So I added that to my watch list this morning. Cron, Hexo, ACB, CGC, Tillery. Looks like they all were up, all the good ones. And then I had a couple others that I've just kind of put on here. Pura, Kelly, and we'll go over a couple of them. So I'm going to move my watch list over here and pull up the chart. The chart that I'm going to, whoop, that ain't no chart. We'll pull up the chart right here. We'll start off with the first one on the list, CTST. Notice right out of the gate, we kind of started to have us a little, I would call it like a blowhorn almost, with a neckline or a support level right here at 252, was that low that we had Friday. So she went ahead and bounced up a little bit today and pulled back. Once it did that, it got up a little higher high at my second resistance at 268. And then right during the market hours, it pulled back to 243, which is support level right around the 244 area. Let me change this up here. This is CTST, and we know all about it. It had the grow rooms that weren't quite legal, so they got in a little bit of trouble. Well, today she went ahead and started bouncing up right out of the gate. She got down to that 243 low level, and then she bounced up and hit a high of right around 305 pulled back to support level that I had here at 287 and once it did that it kind of followed that 34 and that 9 EMA all the way up and then touched back to that 200 so we closed up at the end of the day with higher highs right around 311 so I think we've kind of might have hit us a bottom here at least we'll find out for sure tomorrow and that's CTST this is the one that's had all that drama let me pull up the 20 day chart and let you have a look at it we had almost five, oh, last week she just pulled back. And then today she had that bounce up back to support level, which was right around the 313 area. So I think this might pull back a little bit more tomorrow morning again, maybe right around the 279 to the 287 area, somewhere around 280, 287 is going to be your first support. And the resistance we're going to have to break is going to be that 313. And I know there's probably some bunch of bag holders in here that like this company and it's done nothing but pull back last week. And so here we are. Monday was a good day for it. It bounced all the way from 243 all the way up to a high of right around 310. So that's CTST. And this is the new one that I added to the list. Let me type it in real fast. I can just do this. She also had the same kind of pullback last week. As you notice, then pre-market it dipped on, dipped on down to about 511, and then we had a dollar bounce out of it by the end of the day. She ran all the way up to a high of right around 626. This is OGI, and she had a high on the 20-day chart at 771. So let's kind of draw some trend lines in this. I'm new to this trade right here. I see a support level right here, right around the 625. So I'm going to add that in there, and then I'm going to add another one right here. Probably be a good spot right there around 605. Then another bottom support right here at the 578 with a low, low, low of 562. I don't think we're going to get any lower than that. But I do expect these to pull back a little bit because it had such a great bounce today. This OGI, we had a resistance right here, right around the 625 area today. Actually, it was probably a little bit higher than that, so I'm gonna pull up the daily one minute. Actually, it had a triple bottom pre-market with that very low at 511. I noticed this right out of the gate, but I didn't play it. I just wanted to keep them on watch today. And she went ahead and bounced up to resistance, created double top at that 625 area, and then she pulled back to that first support at 605. So I've got three supports on this. I've got 561, 578, I'm going to add another one right here, 588, 605. We did pull back to 605 after hours, so let's see if we can get any more lower supports on this, and we'll keep it an op a watch on it 
come Monday morning. But this is OGI, I just added this to my watch list. Cron, Cron also had another bounce today. We did find a bottom on it Friday down here, right around 1408, about 1410. So she ran up, found a little resistance right at 1441, and then pulled back to 1391 right when the bell came out. And then she had a great run all the rest of the day. She ran had, had a high up here right around the 1494 area. I want to see if this thing had any news. I think it did have news today. Cannabis strength, cannabis gainers. Yeah, there's not much in here. So keep crawling on watch. I've got a couple little support areas on here we're going to see. I think that low 1480 was probably might not see it again but we're going to call that your low support at 1408. let me pull up the 20 day chart just get a little look at it so that was a 20 day low and i've had a support level right here at 1471 we busted past that today the next resistance on this is going to be right around 1537 and then I'm going to add another trend line right here at 1580. So we've got a low support. Second support's going to be right around here at 1442. If it pulls back to that, that's probably going to be a strong buy there at 1442. 1408, if we do see that, that'll be a real strong buy. Resistance we got to break is going to be this 1535. So first out of the gate, if we can bust past this 1494, we're going to get back to 1535 and then run it back up here to the $16 level. If not, she'll pull back to that 1442 or 1408. This is going to be Cron. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be HEXO. It also had to sell off last week. Not a very bad one, technically, but it did pull back to that 479 Friday. And then we touched down again this morning and it bounced on up back up to that 510. So I'm seeing reversals in all, all the marijuana plays right now, which is kind of enticing to me. What I have here is a TTM squeeze chart with my moving averages of the 200, the 34, and the 9 EMA. And I'm seeing right now that that 9 is trying to cross that, that 34. So let's pull it up to a daily one minute. We had a nice little pullback to the bottom here at 481. After a little breakout this morning, which was indicating that we could have a little run up. So here we are sitting at a double top right at 510. That 510 is what we got to break. Pullback support is going to be right here, right around the 502. And I'm going to digest this on down and call another support. Probably right in this area, right around 493. I'd like to see that hold. It's going to be like a low support channel right here between 491 and 493 with a resistance to break at 510 and we can run this back up to 520 and bring it up higher and that's hexo so i'm kind of iffy on this trade right now i think it can pull back a little bit the next one is acb she also had another pullback this morning it seemed like they all took a pretty good little steep pullback this morning and then the market thought about it brought them back up to resistance levels so i got a 712 resistance on this let's see if we can get to the 20 day 20 day chart. I'm going to draw a trend line right in here at 696. I know a couple got in a room this morning in this trade and it's bounced on up, kind of created a little descending pattern most of the day after the big breakout. Run up and hit that 34 EMA. And that's pretty much where it pulled back before and ran up to eight bucks. So, what we need on, to do on this trade here, if it pulls back, is going to have your first support at 687. Your second one's going to be right down here at 677. So that's not too much of a spread. I think it's going to consolidate again tomorrow. We need it to break 712 and get back up to the resistance levels of 742. And I think I had a 746 at one time on this. So that could be your red line resistance. And then we need to break up here at 768 and bring it back up to that $8 level. There's going to be a little hesitation right here at 786. But right now, this Monday looked real good for all the, the marijuana indi marijuana stocks. CGC also had a pretty hard sell-off. It had a high of 45.25 on the 20-day. 
and then she pulled back Friday to a low here right around 34.12. Same thing happened to this right out of the gate. Seemed like they all sold off and they bounced back up and hit a resistance level of that 34 EMA. So I'm going to draw a little trend line right there. I'm going to bring this now up to the one day minute. Bingo. Looks everything looks good. I'm going to draw a trend line right in here for a support level. I've got three supports. I've got this first one here at 34.66. The second one, which I don't want to see go no lower, is at 34.12. I like to see it break the resistance of 35.79 up to 36.65. And that's going to be your high, I think, for tomorrow. So I'm bullish on CGC. And we got Tillery. Tillery bounced up 88 cents today. It did after, you know, right in here. It also had a pullback like all the other ones did. So I'm going to call a little support right there at 42.18. We got another little support right here at 42.77. And your first support's going to be right, right in here somewhere. Let's draw it right there. Actually, let's bring it up just a little bit. Right there to 43.60. So this is how I'm going to see this trade break out. And then we're going to run it up here to about 44.23 with a resistance high of 45.04. And I'm going to chalk that up right at $45. So we've got supports levels. We've got three of them. We, and then the low, low strong buy at 42.18. We've got the first third support at 42.77, 43.16, and 43.60. Looks to me like we could have a triple top break out of this, come out Monday, run up to that 45.20. I'm going to pull up the 20-day chart, see if I can find anything else on here. I do see a resistance level right here. I'm going to say right about in there at 47.75. Then you got another one right here at the 46.61. And another one right here at 45.50. So... We got to break the resistance of 44.23 to bring it to 45, 45.45, and then the resistance channel up right here, right around 46.30 to 46.61. If not, it can pull back to a low support of 41.67, low, low, low. Your your strong buy at 42.18, with your your third support right here, right around the 42.77. 43.16 and 43.60 for your first support. And that's Tillery, T-L-R-Y. I want to take a look at couple, take a look here at Kelly. Kelly also looked good. It started breaking out. We had a bottom up here at eight cents. I got a strong support level, which is now resistance at a penny. I like to see it break on up. Hit the new channels up here at one. This is one of my favorite CBD CB. D stocks, and then we got another resistance, I'd say, right here, right around the 1216 up here to the 13. So we got a low support down here at 8. We got the second support at 86. Your first one's going to be right here at 92. Could be a little lower than that, maybe at 9, somewhere in this little vicinity. So I'm going to chalk that up with a blue square. here bring it back down to that nine area and that's going to be your I don't want to see it go any lower than that that nine if it does you got your other two supports right here with your resistances it's hard to say I'm going to probably draw it in right there at the 108 area and I just now noticed that how it bumped into that 200 EMA, and then you got your other three resistances above it. If you're willing to stop these charts at any time, that's okay with me. And then we're going to have one more here. Look at Pura. Pura's kind of fell back again today. Hit that low support of 578, which I had already had marked on here. You see the 58 right here? So I think we're at a bottom on this trade right now at 578. Maybe might be a good spot for your first entry for a triple bottom. And then run it all the way up to 66 to 715 and that's about a two cent a one and a half penny bounce right there so that'd be a pretty good little lifesaver and this is on a 20-day chart so it can run back up here to this 8-1 again and this is pura this is related to kelly and that's it for 
the marijuana sector today. I just wanted to have kind of go over of what we had that on that previous video, and it looks to me like they all are starting to rebound. This is my watch list. If you're willing to stop that at any time and write this up, write these down, start your own watch list off of this list, that's fine with me. But CTST was the one I was concerned with. It did have a rebound. Then I added OGI, Cron, Hexo, ACB, CGC, Tillery. They were all up today, all in the green. Volume wasn't too bad on them either. ACB leading the pack here. And then also you can jot down Cali and Pura. And this is after market marijuana report for today. And I'll probably keep this going for a week just to see how it goes. But I'm definitely seeing a rebound today and I'm kind of excited about that. I didn't know today was the test day. We did have some fish hooks come in. So wish everybody a great day. Please follow us. We do have a website. We also have a Twitter page. You can sign up and join our chat service right here. We have the pricing. We have a one week trial, $50 a month. We have also have where you can sign up to the Discord channel. You get one week of free service. If you like the room, you can stick with us. If not, that's okay. You can always follow us here on Twitter. We do have a Twitter page. Hit that follow button. I can link it right up to that. Also, Miss Vegas does the options, a lot of options in the room, and she's also speaks on mic most of the day along with me. She's the boss. I'm just a sidekick. We also have, let me pull this up here. We also have our Stock Twitch page. You can follow us on Stock Twits. Hit that follow button, follow us there. I also have my page on here. You can hit me and ring me up there. Hit that follow button. And we post alerts in there, you know, when we can. But our main concern is the room. So we wish everybody a great day. I teach people different chart patterns and ideas throughout the day on voice. I'll post charts and, and give you ideas of trades. We do run Trade Ideas Scanner also. And that's been a big help to the room. And just want to say I love stocks. And thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you.